Uh, this is a video I made of, uh, of uh, the factory, the tile, fa tile factory, what we get up to at work. Um, this section of the factory is the accessory section where we make uh, all the uh, things like the, the tiles on the ridges of roofs and the edges of, of, of the roofs. Uh, and this press uh, is where I work, that's not me, it's my colleague Mathieu. This press is the oldest press in the factory and it's the last press where you still need manual intervention. You can see that Mathieu actually has to stick his hands in that press and, uh, and catch the tiles. As the press turns, he reaches in, grabs a tile, and uh, sticks it onto the, the chassis that are on that uh, conveyor belt behind him. Um, it's hard work, those tiles are very heavy, uh, they weigh over 7 kilos each, um, and you've got to catch them uh, neatly so they don't distort and, uh, and stick them down nice and, nice and straight, so that you end up with, uh, with good straight tiles at the other end. Those are, those are ridge tiles, those are uh, 50 centimeter long ridge tiles, um, and uh, they're going to get painted later probably. Here we see the tiles made yesterday, they're now dry, um, getting picked up by the, the grappa, um, a set of four fingers that pick up four tiles at a time and stick them onto a conveyor belt. That conveyor belt will take uh, those dry tiles around the back of the press where they go through a series of spray painters so they can have a, um, have a variety of colors um, put onto them, determined by programs. The, um, the thing that, uh, that you're missing with this video is, uh, is the noise, because it's taken with my digital camera, which has no microphone. The noise is incredible. Um, there's compressed air, there's the, the, the slap of the tiles going into the machine, the machine turning around, grinding and groaning. Here you can see the, uh, the, the, the clay slugs being put into the, uh, the molds and the press coming down on top, forming them. Um, also bear in mind, this press never stops. Um, if the operator wants to uh, scratch his nose, he can't. He's got to keep catching those tiles. The only thing you can do if you want to need to stop is to hit the uh, hit the stop button, and then <laughs> then they'll ask you why. This is me um, stacking the tiles that you saw going around, coming in, coming out from underneath those spray painters. There's a bad one. I'll have to go in the bin. Um, we tend to, we spend one hour on the press where Mathieu was, and uh, and one hour here uh, because this work is is less physical. Uh, but as you can see, it's also pretty damn boring. Um, I'm taking the tiles off uh, that conveyor belt, um, stacking them in, in, in the way that is required for the kilns, and putting them onto uh, the balancelles, these, uh, these swing, swinging um, trays that are on a continuous chain that takes them around to the other side of the factory. Um, you know, people wonder why I don't go completely mad with boredom doing such a job. Um, it gives you lots of time to think think about uh, the kind of stuff that I end up putting onto my blog and onto, onto YouTube. Um, here I'm showing you the, uh, where the clay comes out of the mill, the clay mill, the clay mill, the, the moulers. It's cut by a wire. It's pre-shaped by uh, like a, a, a metallic opening at the end of the moulers. Um, and the, the galettes, the clay slugs, arrive at the top of the press there, where we, uh, which uh, we saw earlier. Um, that uh, the speed of that has to be controlled, otherwise you end up with too much clay shooting around. Um, this is just another detail on those, on those tiles that are painted. You can see that there's actually three different colors on there. There's an undercoat of, of ochre, um, and then a couple of sprays of, uh, of straw and black. Um, they get stuck on their balance cells. There's still some stray products hanging around there. The balance cells you can see on this chain go up to the top of the factory and get carried around um, to the other side of the factory where the, uh, where the kilns are. Um, it's handy when the chains are nice and empty, as they are here. Um, the, the, the empty chain like this means that uh, oh, those are those are edge tiles. Those are rive rive ronde gauche. Let's see the G for for gauche, so that's a left-handed tile to in uh, in a straw color. Um, when you can see the uh, the balance tiles are empty, that means the guy at the other side of the factory is doing a decent job of of taking the tiles off and getting them into the kiln. Um, sometimes, if there's a, a hold up, um, this chain can get absolutely chock full of tiles and uh, which makes our life um, difficult because our because the tiles keep coming off our press we've got to find somewhere to put them there's a there's a whole tray of uh, of edge tiles um, you can imagine what it's like when when, uh, when every um, stage has got those those tiles on and there's some tiles waiting for me because I haven't been taking them off um, but actually everything stopped right now because it's the uh, it's the lunch break there's the ascenseur the uh, the the tiles freshly made stack up over there. That's another press called the Bongiani. There's the dry tiles on the descenseur, they come down. There's our press and another press called the STP. This is the accessory section and there are th one, two, three,